to my channel. In today's video, I want to touch a pretty important uh, topic, which is how do you report a stolen design, which is possibly one of the most annoying aspects of um, having a Merch by Amazon account or any other POD business because unfortunately you know in this type of a business model you will always encounter copycats unfortunately on the web it's so easy you know behind a computer screen to just steal in incognito you know someone else intellectual property and try to make a quick buck out of it and although it is true that we all get inspired from each other you know like it's nearly impossible to come up with a, a completely brand new idea nowadays i mean you always get inspiration from someone else's work but having an inspiration is one thing and completely copying someone else's design it's a total different thing and so with this video i want to touch this topic and i want to show you how you can protect yourself from this type of you know scammers because you will most likely encounter this issue sooner or later. It's just the way it is. Unfortunately, you know, there's people like that in the world and um, these are the type of people that repulse me the most because literally I hate teeth and I hate lazy people. I hate parasites that just want to latch on other people's hard work because even me, when I get inspired, you know, by browsing about which is the most trending um, niche, you know, I mean, I get inspired, but then I create my whole brand new design from scratch and it takes me hours sometimes. I mean, obviously I'm trying to get smarter and um, maximize my productivity. Still, sometimes I put more effort into a more detailed uh, design. And so when you see one of these parasites literally copying pixel by pixel your design, like literally taking a screenshot and just re-uploading it and try to make a quick buck out of your hard work it really pissed me off like you have no idea and by the way it's so stupid because eventually you will receive copyright claim and you will get your account removed so you're gonna rub yourself in the end from the chance of making a good passive income so the joke is on you people that do that think to outsmart the system amazon is not stupid and people that spend hours creating a design are very protective towards their design so sooner or later they're gonna notice that you're copying their design and they're gonna report you and after you receive one two three strikes you're gonna have your account closed so you literally are just robbing yourself from an opportunity just because you are lazy as hell and you don't wanna you know work creating your own design so stop doing that if you ever done that it bring you no and it's so unethical but anyway if let me just give you uh, an update of my situation with the merch by Amazon these past couple weeks has been the most profitable weeks for me because my account is really taking off and picking up tons of sales as you probably saw I got recently upgraded to tier 25 finally I've been waiting forever for this moment you have no idea and I've been selling pretty much every single day beside Tuesday, the 5th of October. But as you can see, I've been making consistent sales every single day. So um, which day is today? Saturday? Oh my gosh, I'm losing track. Anyway, today it's Saturday. So far I made four sales and the day is still young, especially since I am on UK time zone and I sell on the US marketplace mostly, which means that when it's night time for me, it's pretty much afternoon, you know, in the US. And so it's when I make the most sales. Anyway, I've made 60 sales this week alone. You know, I've just got upgraded to tier 25. So until yesterday I had only 10 design up and now today I have 12 of course because I add well one has been rejected so I think I have 11 design so far but um, almost all of them are selling but there's one in particular which is my winning design that it's selling like hot cakes literally I made so many sales with this design alone as you can see I've made 81 sales in pretty much 10 days so I was so excited you know when you finally found a very cool design that sell easily and consistently that's the best feeling ever and every so often you will come across a design like that you know this design which was my golden child someone tried to steal it from me 
because of course there's always copycats right a lot of uh, pathetic lazy people there rather than put some effort and create their own design they always want the quick way to do things or to make money and they steal from you and so that's where i obviously draw the line that's where i come for you like don't even try because i'm gonna start a war and i know there's a lot of people that say you know i don't really waste time um, chasing people that steal my design from me but first of all if you are on the lower tiers and you finally found that one design that is helping you bring up your sales and your numbers as has happening to me literally this past few weeks I'm gonna protect my design because obviously that's my best selling t-shirt I'm not gonna allow anyone to steal sales from me when I'm, I'm already struggling you know to get out of the lowest tiers and finally I crack the code I found the way I'm not gonna allow any small little parasite you know to latch from my hard work and and just you know cash in that's not gonna happen if you try to steal my design i'm gonna do everything in my power to ask amazon to close your account so don't even try because i don't have such a large account that it's uh, difficult for me to chase everyone so i will definitely come for you and this is what happened so basically this person which i have a strong feelings it's a young millennial because you know millennials are usually the type of people they are lazy as hell they never want they always want the easy way to become millionaires and billionaires and you know they have zero conception of what it means to work hard and to achieve things you know with your own work and labor and so what happened this person stole my design i wasn't even wondering if someone stole my design because having such a small account the thought didn't even cross my mind i was literally just checking on amazon platform if i was founding my own listing and while i was searching for my own listing i saw my design under a different brand and with a different description and i recognized my design straight away literally in 0.1 seconds because i've designed it myself from scratch and i recognized stroke by stroke it was literally my design like so obvious and so what happened is I start digging you know I was so annoyed I was like I cannot believe this and then I didn't even know how to fight this you know how to report to this person so I've started searching and digging and it took me a couple hours to figure it out the right way to do it you know I wanted to do it properly because sometimes Amazon refuse your claim obviously now that I've learned it's gonna be a much faster process but I reported this person and it took about three full days for Amazon to take down the listing because they have to check that uh, I was the actual copyright owner of my design and I was actually the owner of my Amazon account so they have to do all these sort of checks because unfortunately people have abused of this reporting system as well in the past like people try to use this as a weapon to get rid of competitions so they just want to make sure this is a legit claim if it makes any sense like you're actually reporting a stolen design you're not just trying to get rid of someone that's selling a similar design from you and so it took three full days but eventually amazon took down the listing and I was so excited and guess what less than 24 hours later this person re-uploaded the exact same design once again under a different ASIN I was like I cannot believe this person first of all how stupid you must be to do something like that because you are jeopardizing your own account just create your own damn design is that so hard like you this person most likely have his account closed so i complained twice and amazon removed twice the listing and even the second time i've noticed by chance because you know i wasn't even thinking that someone could upload twice in a row the same design especially after amazon removed the first listing see karma is a bitch like i wasn't even looking for it and i sent a second um you know copyrights claim and amazon the second time took it down much faster Faster, I think because they already checked the first time you know it took the first time three full days and the second time in less than one hour they removed the second listing so I hope they closed their account because I requested for Amazon to remove this person completely from the platform because he keep uh, infringing you know all the Amazon rules and copyrights and stuff like that and Amazon is very strict and serious about that anyway I'm gonna keep an eye on it and double check but this is my story so 
let me just show you how I uh, report you know my stolen design and how I was able to get this person removing his listing so basically from inside your Merch by Amazon account you just want to go under uh, resources and then if you click on FAQs you can find all these um, options right here and you want to click on intellectual property and down here is the part that you should read carefully which is you know what should i do if another item is using my intellectual property without my authorization and basically what you want to do is to just select the marketplace where you want to report this you know infringement and so in my case i've noticed that this person have uploaded my design in the amazon.com platform so i'm gonna click on amazon.com and you will be redirected into the report infringement page this is a page that you want to fill you know to send your claim to amazon and uh, what you do is if you are not signed in you just click in here and you just insert your login and password as you will do for your amazon account super simple and then you scroll down and you just fill this form so under allegation of infringement they ask you are you the right owner or an agent so you're gonna click right owner and then this is the part where you're gonna you know select which is the objective of your claim and in uh, this case we're gonna go with copyrights concerns so you're gonna keep this selected and then here the specific concerns is and I suggest you to keep selected the first option I already try the second and the third and I find that the first option is the most accurate for this uh, scenario and is the one that works the best Amazon is more responsive if you for some reason I don't know it works best if you keep this first option selected so the physical product or its packaging includes unauthorized copyrighted images without being pirated so don't worry about the part that they say without being pirated and um, it doesn't matter just go with this first option is the right process you know to send a copyright claim and if amazon see that that is actually your design it will take it down for you okay so just go with this first option trust me the name of the brand you just insert your own brand name so make sure i usually just open an extra internet page let's go into amazon just to show you where you can find everything obviously this is an example pretending that this is your own t-shirt um, where the other person have copied this design of this pork pine you're gonna um you know copy this brand so edit copy and then you paste the brand name here free Uggs, right so this is again your brand name then uh, it says please provide one of the following so a written description of the copyrighted work or a link to the copyrighted work so i suggest you to go with the link because it's easier so you don't need to fill both but this is simpler because you just go back into the t-shirt you select the url edit copy and you go back into your claim page and you do edit and paste voila so this is the url so when amazon is going to read your copyright claim it's going to have the exact url page so they can see which is the original design where this person that you are claiming against have stolen from okay otherwise if you don't want to put the url which I don't understand why you wouldn't since it's literally the easiest and most precise way to help Amazon you know have a clear idea of the situation but if you don't want to put the URL you can just write a, a description for instance say um, my design has a pork pine how you call it pork pine illustration you write a porcupine illustration with the um, free hugs text uh, you know on top of it you can write a description like that okay so either one or the other so let's pretend we keep the url which is easiest and faster then uh, this you can leave it blank and then additional information this is the part where you can add as many information as you want if you want to communicate anything else to amazon so 
honestly, what I will suggest you to do in this section right here is just go back into your design. If you don't remember when you have uploaded, you can scroll on the bottom of the page, you have all the product details. So for instance, this design has been uploaded on the 10th of November. So if this was my design, I will tell to Amazon, you know, uploaded my design on the 10th of November 2021, blah, blah, blah. My design has been stolen and re-uploaded by this seller in date. You have to make as easy as possible for Amazon to understand which is the situation. So make it as clear as possible because this way is going to be faster for Amazon to take down the other listing, right? Because you don't want this other person to make any sales out of your design. So you want to make it as fast as possible, you know, for Amazon to remove that listing. And so if you write something like this, you make crystal clear for Amazon to understand that you have originally uploaded your design on the 10th of November. Then of course you can search in which date this other seller has uploaded your design, which most likely is going to be later than the 10th of November. And so let's pretend, you know, he, um, he has uploaded this design on the 1st of October. You can write here, this seller in date, um, first October 2021 and then you can write whatever you want so if you keep it very synthetic but very specific with all the details the Amazon need I mean the proof is right here you know like you have originally uploaded your design before way earlier than this other seller and so this is already the proof the Amazon need you know and so after you write your section right here you just go down and here is the part where you insert the azin of this other seller design so basically well, let's pretend we are now into a different seller listing that has the same design so let's pretend now this is a different seller with a different brand name okay you will found the azin still under the product detail section all you have to do is just copy the azin so this is the, the section where you have all the details you need. You have the, the date where the design has been uploaded, the brand name, you have everything. See, this t-shirt has been selling obviously because I have a, a BSR. So anything that has sold at least once has a BSR. So if this t-shirt, for instance, didn't have any BSR, it means that he never sold. Again, pretend this is now this uh, fraudulent seller page. So you just copy his ASIN, not yours. You go back into the form. So before it was your brand name and your URL. And now instead is this other seller ASIN. You copy right here. And as you can see, as soon as you copy the ASIN, you have options here. So the option you want to click is ASIN ISBN-10. Okay, make sure you select this. And then this is the part where you insert all your details. So are you a seller on Amazon? You just select yes. Then you insert all your details. Make sure you insert the exact home address Amazon has on record. So the address that is linked to your Amazon account where you usually purchase. Make as easy as possible for Amazon to recognize you. That's my point. Then if you scroll down, you insert, of course, your email and blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna obviously blur um, all these details. Now, this is another very important section, which was very confusing to me in the beginning, even because there's no many tutorials that explain this. So it's been quite stressful and very time consuming for me to figure it out the exact way to do this. Now that I learn, it's much faster the process, but of course it took me a while because there's no many tutorial that explain clearly what to do. So this is another important section that not many people talk about because these details that you will insert down here is gonna be visible to this person. So this is a very annoying 
things that I hope Amazon is gonna improve in the future. So here is where I, I just insert my first name, I don't insert my last name, and I insert an email address which is different from the email address that is linked to my Amazon account. Um, because I don't want this scammer to have access to my personal info. I was very concerned about this part at first and I was very annoying that Amazon asked me for such an info, you know, to share with this person because if I'm sending a copyright claim, you are dealing with an idiot. That's the bottom line. And so I don't want to give my personal info to such people, you know, obviously. So I strongly recommend you to put an email address that doesn't contain your last name or that it's generic, you know, that doesn't really contain your first name either. Protect basically your identity as much as possible. So put your first name and insert an email address that doesn't contain your last name. Then once you do that, just check these two boxes and submit your claim. Once you submit your claim, you will receive a confirmation email from Amazon. See this, for example, is what I've received. I say, hello, we receive your email. After we process your notice, we will notify you by email. This usually takes one to two days and then they give you the complaint ID. Then all you have to do at this stage, once you receive your confirmation email from Amazon, is just wait for them to give you a response. Then a lot of time, um, Amazon, because Amazon keep changing how they do these kind of things, you know? So because in the past people was abusing of um, the copyright claim system just to try to get rid of the competitors, now Amazon is more careful and really double, triple check, you know, that the copyright claim is legit. So what happened after this stage? Most time you will receive a second email from Amazon telling you, let me show you an example. So because the first time I was super confused, I wasn't sure if I feel my copyright claim correctly, if I did something wrong, it wasn't clear because nobody explained you this stuff. So you really have, I, I've learned doing a lot of test and trial. So this was a super confusing email that I couldn't understand what, what it meant. So Amazon, the subject is your notice to Amazon requires additional information. And you are like, oh no, like this process is so time consuming, draining, right? So basically they send you a verification code, okay? so. They say, we are being unable to verify that you are the rights owner or their agent. And you are like, how it's possible that you are unable to verify I, I was the owner if I sign into my account in order to send you a copyright claim, right? So it's very frustrating how they overcomplicated this process, but this is just how it is at the moment and this is how you have to do it. And there's no other way, okay? So they give you a verification code 99.9% .9 of the time you will receive this code. Plus they give you a whole list of stuff that they need from you. So do not get scared. All you have to do is keep this email open, go back into the same page where you originally uh, filled your copyright claim and you have to refill it. I know it's frustrating because you are like, oh my gosh, why? What's the point to refill it? But there's no way around it. You just have to refill it exactly as we did the first time. The only difference is that you're gonna copy and paste this verification code here, edit copy, because it says, if you read, it say, please also include verification code da 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 at the beginning of your submission failure to include the verification code will result in your notice being rejected. So all Amazon need from you at this stage is just for you to resubmit the same form with this verification code. And this is their way to verify that you are um, the authentic copyright owner. So this is just to prevent fraud. So again, all you have to do is refill this form and here in the very beginning, you're gonna paste that code, okay? Then you can leave the same description or write something similar or you can just paste this code and then keep filling everything as we did before and resubmit and that's it. So it's a bit um, of a headache and it doesn't make much sense, I know. 
but this is exactly how you have to do it okay amazon as right now have this overly complicated process but this is how it works so just copy and paste that code and refill this form then once you resubmit this form it should be it okay amazon should be done with you because once you send that code they verify you automatically through this code and then from this stage on if they actually um, see that the design is your design you will receive an email saying hello thank you for your report of infringement we reviewed your report and altered or removed the reported content based on the information you provided things so basically this is a confirmation that they did finally do something about it they did remove that listing from that scammy seller they stole from you so this is the proof that this is the actual confirmation that they did remove in fact that listing if you want to be extra sure this is something that i strongly recommend you is always save the url let's go back into amazon so before I file a copyright claim, I always save the URL of that listing that stole from me because then I can click on that link to verify if Amazon removed that listing. So for example, let me show you, this is the URL of the listing that I reported and as soon as I click in it, it tells me that they didn't found the page, which is a confirmation that they did in fact remove that listing. They give you a lot of satisfaction, trust me, when you see that, you know, the, the listing has been removed. So this is an extra tips I give you. Save the URL. So this happened to me twice and I was so glad to see that the listing doesn't exist anymore. And this is it. I really hope this video was helpful. I try to be as precise and specific as possible because nothing is more frustrating to me of when I'm trying to look for information and people go around, 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 or they skip through important stages of uh, you know how to fill a form or something and this is what happened to me i couldn't found a well done tutorial about this topic and i think it's a very serious topic that everyone should know how to report scammers because i'm sick and tired of this parasite yeah let's just hope guys this is gonna be an easier process in the future but for now this is how you do it this is how you do it effectively and this works trust me because i went through it anyway if this video was helpful, please, 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 guys, remember to leave a like. It really helped me to keep creating valuable tutorials for you. And so I can help you as well grow online and, uh, you know, subscribe if you didn't yet, because I, I always talk about important topics and things that really are going to help you speed up your side hustle grow, whatever it is. You know, I always talk about KDP, Amazon you know, YouTube, how to, any type of digital side hustle that you want to chase and grow with, I'm gonna mention in this channel. So subscribe if you didn't yet. I really hope to see you in my next video. Bye guys.